Hey guys, this is Tina here. Um, quick disclaimer, this was filmed back in, I believe, um, early or mid-February, so this is before we social distanced. Um, sorry, my teeth. Um, but we are practicing uh, safe habits. We are staying home. We are in lockdown. Um, please stay safe, take care, and uh, enjoy the show, mentees. Why are we in this building with all these books? Rob, you ignorant slut! We're here to get some free comics! What? Free what? Comics? It's what I heard! It's what I heard! Hey, let me let me do the talking, okay? Um, miss? Well, obviously that didn't work, Maddie. Yeah, we're gonna try something else. Dude, dude, dude! She's holding comics! Oh, let's get her! Yeah! Ah! So for today's episode, I thought, you know, we talk a lot about buying stuff and buyer's remorse and how do we afford things and, you know, <laughs> Very how do we keep things, huh? from going in debt? And then we also suggest... Wait, hang on. Is that a goal? Shit. <laughs> 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 because we're always suggesting purchases and stuff to our readers and like our, our viewers, which is great. I think I'm glad that, you know, people look up to us at like what to purchase. You know, not always sustainable. So I want to talk about another part of my life that I've talked about a little bit in this channel, which is going to the library. Mm -hmm. Now, I know I've gotten one comment before um, because I've done a couple library hauls. This is a good way for me to like catch up on reading and check out new series and books. And one person's like, y'all have money to buy things. Why are you going to the library? <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> and I love the library. It's a great way to, you know, read a bunch of comics, a bunch of like, of course, any books, obviously, but I think people forget when they're trying to check out new comic books or graphic novels, you can go to the library and check it out. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, I'm blessed in my town. We have like we have a ton of libraries. <laughs> so it's very easy for me to like find a bunch of different books. Um, but there's also like Hoopla and everything else. So I was wondering if we could just have a little chat, talk about what you like about your library. And it's gonna sound like an after school special, but I don't care. The <laughs> library is great. Well, we, we should we should preface it by saying at least, you know, those of us who are in Lexington are we have a great library system that is very well funded. Mm -hmm. So right. that's that's probably a caveat we need to make. Because well, that's not always the case. But one thing we don't have that thing. you have is we Hoopla, have, which is also with right. the library. Yeah. We have Hoopla, but we also have what's called interlibrary loan. And my wife, who's actually joining us, yeah. Heather, Hello. Welcome, Heather. <laughs> who's a librarian, she can actually talk a little bit more about it. But basically, if there's a book that you want that another library has, you can actually say, hey, or I can request this book. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how it works. Yeah, it's called Interlibrary Loan. And basically, it's a nationwide system. And most libraries are a part of this. And basically, if a book that um, you requested isn't something that we're going to think about purchasing, mm -hmm. but or is it something that's hard to get, we can ask another library to send it. And they will. And so we, we send books out all the time. And um, they send books to us. And we do thousands of those a year. That's awesome. So, mm -hmm. Man, I love that. Like. I I it's found so that's, that's that's really helpful, especially for like academic type work. Oh yeah, and oh, like absolutely. That very specialized. Mm -hmm. um, that's been the only time I've really used it in the past couple of years. But I mean, because for a while it was a hassle from the consumer end. Mm. And I think it's yeah. gotten better. Oh, it's gotten much yeah. better, definitely. It used to be really, really slow. Was, yeah. Well, it was slow and it was a different form and it was like, you know, the guy who did it was kind of an ass. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> That's right. just your branch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did work there at the time. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we still use couriers. Okay. And so I guess the courier system has gotten a lot better. It's yeah. um, a couple years ago, the funding on it was, was kind of sketchy. So yeah. we didn't have a lot of funding. So it was a little slower. Um, but now it's, um, at least in our area, it's sped up and um, the courier system is working really well. Awesome. So it's good. It's good. So you were talking about Spending money and not spending money and why we go to the library. I'll use an example. Yeah. Our library has awesome facilities, but I'll talk about that later. So one of the reasons that I go to the library every single Saturday is because my children, whom are yay and young, love like 
tons of these series of books magic ponies rainbow something or another some animal <laughs> doing something and these books have like 30 in this series these all sound like fake series that come up in cartoons <laughs> rainbow, rainbow some magic, animal. Rainbow magic. I, I, yes. rainbow magic. I, I, I would yeah. buy some, some animal doing something some animal doing something <laughs> the series right so you understand exactly this what I'm talking animal. about and there are 30 of these and my girls are at this stage where they either want to listen or read them and they go through them now my wife and I like to she likes to, I like to collect games she likes to collect books the thing about books is they take space and once we go through the book it is not likely that we're going to go through it again and some of these books don't have like the cool pictures like the dragon ball and like manga would have cool pictures on it but it looks nice on the shelf so my wife has really had to let go of buying all these well how do we get through it once we've gone through it takes a couple of days to get through it what do we do we go to the library every week get a pile of these things <laughs> read through them and rinse rush repeat so it seems odd that me being a video game person and not necessarily a comic person is at the library, but for the kids, I'm there religiously every Saturday. That's where they are as we speak, I'm sure. And well, that's, that's been a big benefit to me too and like friends of mine, other channels and stuff that like, I, I'm an impulse purchaser. That is true. And I still get the same high from checking out library books, which is great. Which is I great. I the same it, dopamine hit. Well, it's dopamine, great when yeah. you, it's being, especially <laughs> when you walk in and it's like, that I didn't even know that was out. Yeah, right. You know that sort mm -hmm. of thing, and it's and I don't even have to buy it. A lot of things I can just that maybe your it. your bookstore wouldn't have, or, or yeah, or you can take a chance on, right? right? That maybe you wouldn't. But like, because, hey, somebody like, recommended that it. Is oh, yeah. a lot different than checking it out because you're going to spend your money on something that you're unsure of. Yeah. And for books, sometimes you, yeah, you can kind of get the gist looking it over. But if you're ordering on Amazon and you're not in a physical store and you're like, well, this sounds like something I would mm -hmm. like. I've been burned several times yeah. off of that in the early aughts when I would order and I'd be like, oh, I really actually don't like this. I a lot of times of I go and I buy these things for my collection later. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, I've talked a lot about For a Second, which is a publisher that I'm so in love with. And I've read all their books to the library. And now I go back and purchase them because I they're beautiful <laughs> they're you know they're very well put together and they're wonderful stories and now i buy them for my my personal library at home um and something else i want to talk about so i i've interviewed a couple of uh different combo creators and a big one's terry moore he's a self-publisher um but he's talked about a lot of his success being through working with libraries mm -hmm. and has a lot of neil gaiman success too because he said that's that's who he's learned it from so a lot of people they think you know people who want to support the industry they think well I gotta buy this. I have to buy it. Personally, I can't just go to the library. Well, let me tell you, you're still supporting the industry. I would much rather you go to the library and check this out than read it illegally somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. The books, if they, if you were checking out these books, you're showing the library that they, that you like That it. they put money. And then they go and they buy more, yeah. usually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like you're still you're still supporting it by going through Hoopla or going to your library. Kristen, who's my co-host on another channel, she's been on here before. She even goes to her library and, and like requests books, mm -hmm. which they'll then yeah. put in there for her. Yeah, yeah, we, we buy yeah. books that you request too. You know, just just depending, we'll either interlibrary loan them or buy them, mm -hmm. purchase them, especially if they're newer titles. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, there's a huge Corona effect to that too. I mean, if something is constantly being circulated, things that are like it are more likely to be ordered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you know, so, which is, I mean, which fully explains the fact that in you know like 2000, 2001, the comic section was this big. Oh yeah, and it's now crazy it's, though. It's, it's huge. Even yeah. the manga for I mean, the teenage, you know, teenagers, especially like at our local library, it's a small library, mm -hmm. but the manga section didn't exist a few years ago, and now it's there and it, it's large. Yeah, it's which huge. is very nice. And so the alternative would be kids finding it online. I mean, like so many of us started by getting the manga through scanslations. Mm -hmm. This yeah, provides yeah. actually mm -hmm. revenue to these companies to keep producing it and you know oh, yeah. well, those, with those companies do a huge marketing blitz to libraries too yeah. i mean every year at, at the you know american library association conventions they're there is with as big a presence as like yeah. random house and you know everything else so uh, no, yeah. absolutely yeah. i've been to one so yeah, yeah. Give, and, and, and they yeah. give away stuff which is nice oh, yeah she yeah. brought uh, like bags with bags of giveaway bags stuff oh, and yeah. books books do they give away yeah. books there was a couple oh, yeah. publishers so, that, oh, yeah. that i figured you, out you know yeah. like found the yeah, three books. Yeah, a lot of. Uh, and I may, I might be speaking. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like with ALA, basically, if you could find an in, even if you're not a librarian, <laughs> you can get basically a like a pass to the to the display floor, the dealer floor. Yeah, and you just go in and you come out with more books than you can yeah, physically it's, carry. It's crazy. It is advanced yeah. reader yeah. coffee. Include yeah. yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Which is which Mr. Is nice. Teacher, it's our librarian inside tip of the week. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Make, like, friend, make friends with librarians. 
go to Chicago in June. This so year. It's, it's things like that you don't really think about. That it is actually providing revenue to the companies we know and we love, and it's creating avenues for younger people who don't have the ability or the purchasing power. So it, it's still actually helping out the book industry. Right, and that that was yeah. my that was my point of bringing that up was that they wouldn't market so hard to libraries if it wasn't a viable market right. that they are mm -hmm. interested in. Mm -hmm. So. Plus, it's yeah. a win-win. Like, you get to check something out for free, literally yeah. for free, and mm -hmm. there's not just books at the library anymore. Yeah, so in our, lo in our local library, there's a whole, you were talking about the manga section. There's an entire room that's dedicated to not just uh, manga, but also anime, and also figures, and also art books, video game, like, art books, like, here are things that I've been trying to find oh, forever. Yeah. They're just sitting there on the shelf. Because, like, I, can't, like, I can't believe the Art of runs, Atari is here, like, right? The teen group at her yeah. library, mm -hmm. right? And you yeah, have, like, I, anime help, club. I help run Anime yeah. Club and, and yeah. DVD. Yeah, so, <laughs> which is and amazing, right? And Dragons right? Club, which, you know. And there's very so good. Like, what a, what a great way, like, you know, I imagine me growing up, which I was at the library all the time, but we didn't have groups like that we in didn't. mine. Yeah. And, like, connecting with people who like the same things as me. Now I'm lucky I have all you guys. Thanks. Aww. But like at the time I didn't. So like reading manga by myself and like, you know, goofy fantasy young adult novels and oh, all yeah. that kind of stuff I was by myself. So it's not just like the checking out, it's the community that's there. Right. Yeah. And there's regular awesome. events, regularly timed events where every Tuesday at six o'clock teens get together to read something or and watch. And there's something. adult programs yeah. too yeah. that yeah. are exactly. nerdy and stuff. So if you're a nerd for book or for like comics and stuff, it's great for that. But you can also meet like-minded individuals by not only like some libraries have conventions, uh, some will yes. have Heather's. Okay, <laughs> quick plug of me supporting one of my best friends. <laughs> but Heather would run a convention at her library, which is part of how, mm -hmm. honestly, I don't think Near Mint would have happened. This is how we met Omar through, yeah. through BiblioCon, which is awesome. Yeah, great name by the name. Near Mint. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Near Mint condition would not have happened without Heather and without. <laughs> Her convention, one hundred percent. All you know, a lot of us meeting it would have never happened. It was such a cool thing because mm -hmm. not only did like you had adults meeting, but children meeting and like people of all ages. Like yeah. it's not just like a library's not just where you go to, for like bring your kids for reading time. Yeah. <laughs> there is that for all and, ages and toy yeah. time too. Near Mint would not exist if not for a library. Not for the library, yeah. that's beautiful so. right there. <laughs> but you know, libraries are really starting to transition to becoming community centers mm -hmm. and not just you know lending out books because our circulation, just the way the world is, is yeah. kind of going flat. Except for you know our online um, mm -hmm. uh, databases, like such as the Libby app. I don't know if any of you have heard yes. of the Libby app. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a big thing, you know, Hoopla and things like that. So and libraries just are really the great equalizer because they're like yeah. the only one of the only places you can go now and sit without the expectation of spending money. Mm -hmm. Which is yeah. wonderful. So, yeah. Those facilities, some more facilities that we have at our library that like- Oh yeah, it's- uh, Our library is- Your library is crazy. It's, it's insane. I've done programs there and every time I'm there, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Oh, so, yeah. We have this uh, 3D printer and we and you can yeah. ch not check it out and take it home, but you can actually check out the time of it and materials. And for cosplayers, that's great. Well, they have, have a make, maker's room. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. had Brett, a friend of mine, a big cosplayer, um, I always forget, sickly sweet cosplay. Yeah. He actually printed out horns for me at the Jess Mary. At, at, at the library, Brad. exactly. So our library has a full 3D printing facility, and then you just bring in your files, and they do what you need mm -hmm. to do. They also have uh, a VR section where I can go check out VR headsets <laughs> and like wander around in VR. They have and they have designated <laughs> times where like, hey, today or this from two to four is like VR time, and like like kids have these VR headsets and they're going through a different worlds, games, toys, toys are at you the can library check too. Out toys. Yeah, so like you know. But my wife and I would be looking at books and like we have a teeny tiny baby and the baby's going nuts. But no, the baby's going nuts with the toys that she checked out at the table. It's like, it's fantastic. So if you need something 3D printed or if you need to com program a computer, we have, they have- They have the CNC machine like, over there yes. so you can mm -hmm. cut cut through wood and, and yes. things like that. Yeah, yeah. See, I didn't know about that. Insane. That's yes. gonna change the game yes. for me. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm gonna cut my stuff for me. I'm walking through, I'm like, what is this guy doing with a saw? Oh my gosh, he's cutting, that's fantastic. Yeah. And, and there's also a green screen studio in our library. So if you want to make things like near mint condition. And there's can, a library also. on call to assist you for that, that will help you with certain technical aspects. Okay, I'm just wishing right now that we have recorded this as a background, we could just pull down the green screen and- Yeah, see, we're actually at the library. <laughs> oh, that would be great. We could have done that. 
Yeah, damn it. could have rented out. See, that's Northside is where. Yeah. Yeah. Y- y- the digital studio is. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. You, but, I'll remember that. That's good. Yeah, they have a whole room full of computers with like Photoshop and like you know Final Cut Pro. You know what I mean? And like that all this. That is so good. <laughs> and so like, was this okay? Let me ask you this, Heather. These things that we're talking about, obviously, three D printing. That's a newer technology and such. But yeah. were they're like video editing studios and green screens or things like that like 20 years ago or even 10 years ago oh gosh i would say not because maybe at a large large library but not at the smaller ones not a, not what we put together the digital media lab at north side when i was still at the library and it launched just before i left which would have put it in 07 08 mm-hmm. yeah um okay and you know it so was potentially kind of 10 the, years ago the final cut pro and all that you know the photoshop we had started offering those classes on how to Actually, we had classes in Photoshop before that, though, mm-hmm. in Central. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just okay. general, yeah. like, here's, you know. So it just blows me away. Like, I would have never thought that there would be so many avenues and so much technology and so many things that anyone can use for free, available. It's just amazing. In addition to everything I could possibly read, books, comics, video games I can check out and play. Play while I'm there, too. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, that's great. So, to summarize, libraries are dope. Librarians aren't paid enough. You should go. <laughs> I know we didn't talk about that. Well, it's That's all true. Librarians are paid more. That is true. And a library, you just think you're like library because near mint condition would not have existed without it. Hey guys, save your money by checking out your local library. Get manga, get comics. Check it out, guys. Perhaps you might not, well, you might be able to check out this book too. So, uh, check me out. That's so cute. You can't smile. Usually I'm better at this. Well. <laughs>